is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and today is Melanoma Monday. Yeah, we are happy to have on the show now Jocelyn DePathy, a clinical associate professor of physician assistant studies at Quinnipiac, to talk more about this specific type of skin cancer. Jocelyn, good morning to you. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Yeah, we're doing well and curious to hear what you have to say. First things first, can you give us the basics to a lot of the viewers who are not familiar with melanoma as to what it is? Yeah, so melanoma is a type of skin cancer. It is the least common type of skin cancer, but it is the most severe. <clears throat> um, so it's important to protect ourselves. All right, so let's talk about the signs and symptoms of melanoma. What should people really be looking out for? When we're looking for dangerous moles, we look at the A, B, C, D, E's. So we're looking for moles that are asymmetrical, moles whose borders are ill-defined, moles who have a changing color or color changes within the same mole, um, any mole that's bigger than about a, the size of a pencil eraser, mm -hmm. eraser, or any mole that has changing, like it becomes itchy or bleeding, those should all be checked out by your provider. Yeah, and it's good to see that uh, melanoma has that A, B, C, D, E sort of basic guide for people that some other types of skin cancers don't necessarily have. It can make it a little easier for people to sort of get that first mm -hmm. detection themselves. But what about getting melanoma? What are the biggest risk factors for it? By far the biggest risk factor for melanoma is sun exposure and specifically sun exposure that changes um, your skin in some way. So whether it be tanning or burning or blistering, um, any of those things increase your risk of developing melanoma later in life. Mm -hmm. All right, so talk a little bit more about the uh, melanoma treatments these days. So melanoma can be treated most early types with a simple excision of the mole. Um, once it becomes more advanced, then it's a little bit more tricky and there's some um, systemic immunotherapies available, but ideally we'd want to catch it early enough where you can just have a simple excision. What about screening? How often should people have an expert take a look? Everyone should be screened by a dermatologist yearly. Um, some people may need more frequent screening, but that would be determined by your dermatologist. All right, you just mentioned that sun exposure is one of the greatest risk factors. So how frequently or how much should people be using sunscreen? And talk a little bit about the amounts, just to kind of give people an idea. Sure. So our recommendations for sunscreen are something with UVA and UVB protection, SPF 30 or greater. You should be using at least a shot glass worth of sunscreen, applying all over your body and reapplying every two hours mm -hmm. or even sometimes sooner if you're going in the water. And generally people only think of sunscreen as something you should use when you head to the beach or the pool, but that's not the case, right? Correct. Everyone should be using sunscreen every day that they're going to be out in the sun for longer than 10 minutes. And don't forget to use areas or cover areas that you might forget, like the tops of your ears, the tip of your nose, the back of your neck. Yeah. yeah. And just going what you said, a shot glass full every couple of hours. If you add that up over the course of a sunny day, that is probably much, much more sunscreen than the average person does put Absolutely. on. So it is uh, something to keep in mind. Jocelyn, thank you. We got to a lot of uh, great bullet points there in a short amount of time. We certainly appreciate your expertise.